Welcome to day eight on the Whiskey Tribe sourced advent calendar for 2019. Uh, it's a little bit echoey because I'm standing in the giant room in the new vault shooting uh, this round of episodes, but on the eighth day of Christmas, our Whiskey Tribe gave to me one Laphroaig cask strength. <laughs> for the next, uh, there's a couple coming up that if you like uh, PD whiskey, you're gonna love the next few days. <laughs> Uh, there's one in between, but I'm interested to see, you know, we already talked about Laphroaig 10 as the classic uh, spectrum, and I think I described it as a wood resonator or a steel resonator. Um, I don't know that I specified, but uh, kind of that deep, rich, woody grit, but never, not bassy, and then some high, slight distortion, but that tonality of the warm, a slide resonator. So let's see what happens when we turn up the proof on a... Resonator. <laughs> oh, come on, it still smells great. Interestingly, what comes out a little more dramatically when the proof is turned up is the herbal sweet notes, like, uh, like a honeyed green tea, herbal tea. I mean, the smoke, obviously, still there. The phenolic content, still there, but Oh. Okay, I'm gonna, since I'm in this room right now, I'm gonna have to do it. I'm gonna get the classic 10. Uh-oh. I think we're out. <laughs> I think I left either left it up in my office, which is highly possible, um, or I might have finished off at Laphroaig 10. We might need to buy some new Laphroaig 10. So, nope, acts of comparison. And Rex is going to find this hilarious if he ever watches this video, but I'm totally leaving in the fact that I just left camera for like 20 seconds. <laughs> it's just... I'm not even gonna put background music on this stuff, nothing. You notice how lo-fi these are? This is because this year we're doing the advent calendar uh, while we are short a video editor and Rex is slammed trying to accomplish all editing content plus his own company's work. And so we decided, look, I'm just gonna shoot these on my phone. We'll put them up unlisted, no bumpers, no real editing, and uh, we'll hope that I don't screw it up. <laughs> Yep, coming back to it, as it opened, it's still just the more earth herbal notes. And I don't mean herb, I mean like vegetation herbs, not um, almost like savory herbs, not uh, flowery herbs. Man, for 58.6%. It's so sweet and approachable. What is this? So there's a voice that I'm thinking of where it's not so gritty that it's like Tom Waits where it's just and it's and this grit and gravel, but there's, there's character and there's an edge to it. The smoky voice, you know what it is? It's Leonard Cohen. Um, all the, the depth of the, the richness of that voice, but partnered with uh, the instrumentation that always seems to be like strings and backup vocal choir going la da 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 with this like waltz like you know old world uh, music style not a huge bass rhythm and groove just it's poetry but there's but he doesn't quite sing and that's what I mean there's poetry but it's not perfect poetry and perfect melody it's Oh, half talking, half singing, right? And this is sweet, but it's almost herbal. It's not quiet, perfect poetry. It's spoken word poetry where there's a lilt to it and every once in a while you hint at a melodic line, but there's so much character. Um, it's, 
you want it darker. It's the newest one. You want it darker and we killed the flame. It's, uh, or it's early. It's I'm your man. It's, um, yeah. But see, the thing is earlier, Leonard Cohen, he, his voice was a little more pretty and he sometimes actually sang. And then later Leonard Cohen, by the time you get to, I want it darker or you want it darker, um, there's just deep with a really hint, a hint of melody that the band then develops. I'm ready, my lord. <laughs> I love it, man. I like this one. I like this one a lot. Um, I mean, it's hard to beat the 10 for just classic drinking, but the cask strength really does up the game a little bit. And um, the more of the sweetness is, is present. It's weird that when you lower the proof, it brings more of the phenolic herbal notes and the peat, uh, whereas when you raise the proof, it brings more of the honey out of the herbal notes. Uh, but still a damn good whiskey. All right. Cheers to you guys. Until tomorrow, may your crazy stay this side of legal and may you return before we have time to miss you. Cheers.